Welcome to Fair Start. Thank you so much for volunteering your time with us. We're so happy you're here. I'm Wonder, and I'm gonna take you through some tips and tricks that will help you navigate your time here with us. When you arrive at Fair Start, everyone is required to sign in. You'll be given a name tag to wear while you're volunteering with us. Make sure to have it on you at all times. Please help us keep the building secure and don't let individuals into the building, even if you recognize them. Have them buzz in or use their key card to open the door. If you need to store any items during your stay with us, we'll gladly provide you with a locker. However, do limit the number of items you store and leave any valuables at home. You are a role model for our students. We ask our students to follow a code of conduct and it helps them if we all follow that code as well. If you're working in the kitchen, it's best to have your skin covered just in case any food splashes or slops your way. T-shirts are okay, but no exposed skin below the waist, meaning no shorts. As for footwear, they need to be sturdy, flat, closed-toed with non-slip rubber soles, and cover your foot from ankle to toes, like this. To help keep your clothes from getting too dirty, we do provide you with a gorgeous designer apron or shirt. All hair must be tied back and covered with a stylish hairnet, which you can get from us. Hairnet not your thing? You can bring a baseball cap from home. Just remember, leave that Jägermeister hat you still have from college in the closet. But do bring that beautiful Seahawks championship hat or a lovely fair start cap. One item you probably brought with you today is one of these. For students, cell phone use is prohibited outside of scheduled break times. We know staying connected is important, so if you need to use your phone, please ask your supervisor. Now, when you do want to take a selfie, because after all, you are doing something amazing, please make sure there are no students in the background. If you want a group photo, please ask a staff member and we'll be more than happy to take one for you at the end of the volunteer shift. This is to protect the privacy of our students and to make sure you get a better shot. Fair Start is a clean and sober program. Volunteers should never use or drink while on duty, before volunteering, or in the presence of students. It is also not appropriate to talk about drugs or alcohol at any time while here. We know this sounds serious, but it can be something simple like mentioning that wine tasting extravaganza last weekend while in the presence of students. What happens in Woodenville stays in Woodenville. Another innocent no-no can include talking about meeting for drinks after volunteering. Another way to help protect our students is by not discussing your personal lives or asking a student about theirs, such as where they live or if they have kids. Our students are friendly, personable, and frankly cool, so we don't blame you that you want to get to know them. But if you're not sure if you should talk about something, it's probably best not to. Because Fair Start is a confidential program, we ask that you never disclose information about our students to anyone else. This includes telling someone else if a student is currently enrolled or on site. We know this can be complicated, so if you have further questions, please reach out to a staff member. Food safety is everyone's responsibility, and keeping your hands nice and clean helps keep everyone safe. First, start with nice hot water and a good amount of soap. Next, lather up. For how long, you ask? Sing the happy birthday song or your ABCs while you wash. Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday dear wonder, happy birthday to me. Then, rinse off and reach for a hand towel. Now, sometimes our bodies do things without our permission. For instance, coughing and sneezing. If you feel like you're going to cough or sneeze, cover your nose and mouth with your hands and turn away from any food. This helps limit the spread of germs. Ah, now the germs live in your hands, so it's back to the hand washing station for a quick rewash. Before we send you off today, a few more kitchen safety tips. First up, knife safety. If a knife falls off a counter or out of your hands, step back and let it fall. Don't try to catch it, don't let it land on your feet, we want you to leave here with all your fingers and toes. When walking and carrying a knife, hold it down beside your body, close in with the blade facing behind you. The other sharp object in the kitchen is a sneaky one. It's the blade on the saran wrap. Be careful not to run your fingers along its sharp, jagged edge. But no matter how careful we are, sometimes things happen. 
If you find yourself injured, please tell a staff member. It happens to the best of us. One thing you may not be familiar with is announcing yourself in the kitchen. Let me demonstrate. Imagine this is full of hot, yummy food and you want to go around the corner. Coming around the corner. Or maybe you're behind someone with this or with something sharp. Behind you with hot food or sharp knife. Another important announcement to be aware of is people coming in and out of walk-ins. If you're inside coming out, knock three times on the door before opening it. This alerts people near the door that it's about to open. Announcing ourselves helps keep everyone aware of the busy surroundings and any potential dangers. Now, final safety tip. These floors can get really slippery, so no running, jumping, hopping, or skipping, no matter how tempting. Thank you again for volunteering with Fair Start. Your actions speak volumes and cause a ripple effect through the entire community. We couldn't do what we do without your good works. Have fun and enjoy being a volunteer.